show you a simple buried suture. These are the sutures that we use when we're trying to reapproximate the skin, usually with absorbable suture, and then either gluing or stereo stripping where we're not doing a skin layer. So the key here is you want to get some of the deeper tissues, and here you see in the model we can get some of the deeper dermis. And there's actually a little piece of mesh in that deep dermis. So we want to grab that deeper stuff, come out superficially, so we're starting deep, and then we enter superficially and end deep. So both threads of the suture are now deep. And what that's going to do when we tie this now is it's going to pull everything together, but the knot itself is actually going to be underneath. And this is important because we want to take all the tension off the skin, whether we're stereo stripping it or whether we're just closing it with another suture, and we don't want these little ends of the, of the suture to poke up through the skin. We call that spitting. So you need to get it get deep, grab some of that deep dermis, which in this case is that little piece of mesh, and make sure you're entering the same place where you exited on the other side. So just as superficial as you are on one side, you must be superficial on the other side or else your skin edges will be uneven. Notice also when I'm pulling, oftentimes I'll pull it along the wound. It allows you to get the tie all the way into the wound and it's not being prevented by the skin edges. So this is a simple buried suture. This is something that we use all the time in plastic surgery.